Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Bite Size History on History with Audrey D. And in today's lesson, we are going to continue our conversation about the holidays or Buddhist holidays that originated from ancient India. In this lesson, we are going to be focusing on the Buddhist holiday of Vesak, also known as Buddha Purnima. If you're enjoying these lessons so far, please make sure you're hitting that like and subscribe button. Also, find me on Instagram as History with Audrey D. And you can support this channel further through the links in my bio as well as the description below. Let's go ahead and get started on our holiday of Vesak. Vesak, also known as Buddha Purnima, Buddha Jayanti, or Buddha Day, is the most significant Buddhist festival commemorating the birth, enlightenment, and death, or Parinirvana, of Gautama Buddha. This triple celebration occurs on the full moon day in the month of Vishaka, between April and May, according to the lunar calendar. Let's take a look at some of the important details about this event, beginning with the historical significance. Starting out with his birth, Siddhartha Gautama, who later became the Buddha, was born in Lumbini in modern-day Nepal, around 563 BCE. Vesak marks the anniversary of his birth. Second is the Enlightenment. At the age of 35, Siddhartha attained enlightenment under the Bodhi tree in Bodhgaya in present-day India, becoming the Buddha. Vesak celebrates this momentous event. And third is the Parinirvana. The Buddha passed away at the age of 80 in Kushinagar in modern-day India, achieving Parinirvana which signifies final passing away beyond the cycle of rebirth. Vesak also commemorates this event. There are a number of celebrations and practices, including rituals and activities that go with this holiday as well. Devotees visit temples to pay homage to the Buddha. They participate in prayers, chanting, and meditation. Buddhists make offerings of flowers, incense, candles, and food at the altar or statue of the Buddha as a mark of respect and devotion. In some traditions, a small statue of the Buddha is ceremonially bathed with water or fragrant water, symbolizing purification and renewal. Vesak is a time for practicing compassion and generosity. Buddhists often engage in charitable activities such as giving food to the poor, donating to monasteries, or participating in community service. Many Buddhists observe the five precepts more strictly during Vesak, which include abstaining from killing, stealing, sexual misconduct, lying, and intoxication. And in some cultures, Captive animals like birds or fish are released as a symbolic act of compassion and liberation. Next up, let's take a look at some of the decorations and celebrations that go along with Vesak. Temples and homes are often decorated with lanterns and lights, symbolizing the enlightenment of the Buddha and the light of wisdom he brought to the world. Colorful processions may be held featuring statues of the Buddha, monks and lay people often accompanied by music and chanting. And monks and teachers give Dharma talks and sermons explaining the teachings of the Buddha and their relevance to modern life. There are also a number of international observances such as Vesak being celebrated by Buddhists worldwide and each country or region may actually have its unique customs and traditions. For example, in Sri Lanka, Large lanterns and pandals, or decorative structures, are constructed, while in Thailand, candlelit processions are common. United Nations also has recognition, and in 1999, the United Nations officially recognized Vesak as an international holiday, acknowledging its significance to millions of Buddhists around the world. The holiday of Vesak also has some profound spiritual significance. Vesak is not just a time for celebration, but also for deep reflection and spiritual renewal. It encourages Buddhists to reflect on the teachings of the Buddha, practice compassion and mindfulness, and recommit to the path of enlightenment. 
The holiday serves as a reminder of the core principles of Buddhism, impermanence, suffering, and the path to liberation, and inspires devotees to cultivate wisdom, ethical conduct, and mental discipline. Overall, Vesak is a multifaceted festival that combines joyous celebration with profound spiritual practice honoring the life and teachings of the Buddha and fostering a sense of community and compassion among Buddhists worldwide. And that wraps it up for today's lesson on the holiday of Vesak and the Buddhist tradition. Now, if you enjoy this lesson, please make sure you are hitting that like and subscribe button. And I encourage you to research further if you have more questions about the Buddhist faith, as well as the philosophy of Buddhism in general. You can also find me on Instagram as History with Audrey D for more bite-sized history fun facts. And you can support this channel further through the links in my bio as well as the description below. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I will see you in our next lesson.